Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Josie's Art School, episode number 198. We are doing something, I guess you could consider it in celebration of Black History Month. It is um, in February, but you can do this project anytime that you'd like, obviously. But who our focus is today is William H. Johnson. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a still life of flowers from our imagination. I've been getting um, suggestions or um, requests for um, doing a project where we are using um, oil pastels and I love an oil pastel. So I was very happy to see that this is a project that would uh, pair very nicely to um, that um, kind of um, uh, medium. So you don't necessarily have to have oil pastels. You can do this with crayons, colored pencils, um, watercolor paints, acrylic paints. But for, for me, I'm going to use the um, uh, oil pastels. And then if you want to, you know, at some point come back and or pause the video and, <laughs> and go get your oil pastels and come back and work with me, um, that would be awesome. So I'm going to show you a couple of types that I have. I actually have three sets of them. The first set is by a company called Gallery. And uh, these are actually um, neon colored oil pastels. They are incredible. So as you can see, like this is the electric blue and then this is the magenta, which if you've done seen any of my videos before, that's one of my favorites to use. Um, let's see, my second um, oil pastels, I'm moving things around here, um, is by uh, Cray Paws. Okay, I'm not getting any kickbacks from these, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm working with so that if you see one that you particularly like, you can feel free and get them. I want to say each of these were less than $10, and I honestly have had all of them for at least two years. So they really do, and this is the third set, they really do last quite a long time. And I'm an art teacher, so if I'm telling you that they last over two years, you can pretty much uh, plan on getting them, unless you use them all the time. You could almost keep them for like your lifetime, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And as we're drawing this, I'll give you a little bit of information on Mr. William H. Johnson. Uh, and this is inspired by one of his paintings, and it's just entitled Flowers and you can find it. Let me just make sure I'm giving you the right information. Um, it is at the Smithsonian Institute. How amazing is that? All right, so I'm going to actually draw everything out in one color, and then I'm going to come back around and fill it in with color, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to draw a standard, one of your standard flowers. So kind of the circle, another circle, and then I'm drawing just that bouncing line going around. And then I'm doing that on both of them. So I'm starting very simply. And you can get as ornate or as simple as you'd like. So you could also make this a, um, some daisies if you'd like. I'm going to add a couple of flower choices in there. So from here, I'm going to add more like of a marigold. So here's my the opening there of the flower, and then I'm using more of a rectangle pattern to fill it in. And then in these little spaces, I'm actually going to add leaves. So I'm more focused on what um, the color choices that I might make with the oil pastels as opposed to making this too complicated of a drawing. So you can feel free to add more in as well. So these leaves, if you're interested in how I'm drawing them, I'm almost drawing them like the shape of a football and then just adding a line in the middle. Okay, so this is just my basic shapes of my flowers. Okay. Now from here, I'm then going to add the pot that they're in. So I'm drawing two uh, vertical lines um, and then I'm going to draw a curve on the bottom. So that's my pot. Okay. 
And as you can see, you could fill in more leaves here so it looks like it's overflowing into the pot. That's up to you. And then from here, I'm going to have it uh, two diagonal lines going on both sides to add the dimension to the drawing. Okay. Now from here, then I'm going to start to color it in. So as you can see, this would be an amazing thing to do even on like black paper and draw it out with a white oil pastel. Even a white crayon would be amazing. And then you would just fill it in with the color. This would also be a great idea if you have been wanting to try um, chalk pastels to do that with chalk pastels. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to fill this in with color. And as you can, as you'll see, I'm really going to be very bold with my color choices. You can feel free to be as bold or as conservative as you'd like. Another suggestion would be if you wanted to draw this out and then add paint as well and watch the two mediums work together. So here's my favorite. Y'all have seen this before, my magenta. So if you have been here before at my channel, welcome back. Some of you may have been here because you have purchased my art kits or my sewing kits or my art journal kits and you wanted to come over and uh, see what else I have added to the channel. So welcome. Um, if you don't know about these kits that I have, you can uh, look in the description down below. Um, I do sell the kits as well as if you buy the kit, I also do a video that accompanies the kit. But for this one, there is no kit. I was just wanting to get back to just drawing um, and, and giving instructions based on artists. And my theme this year for the most part will be black and brown artists. So I'm very excited to add that to the catalog on this channel. Okay. So there's my lime green that I was telling you about. So you can see that just popping off on the screen, right? So I honestly, when I bought these, I bought them for a project um, that I made, that I did a couple years ago. I was uh, taking a class with an artist named Mindy Lacefield, and she loves using these colors. So when I first purchased them, because it was on the supply list and I got them, I thought I would never really use them very much. But um, I have learned to really embrace them, and now I really love them, especially when I put want to put a little bit of pop of color in there. So William H. Johnson, to give you a little background, he was born in 1901. He died in 1970, so he's no longer with us. But he was an American painter through the Harlem Renaissance. And he moved to New York when he was 17 to study at the National Academy of Design. So from here, this is my green. So this is from my, um, as you can see, this is just more of your basic green. So it actually lends itself even more to allowing those neon colors to shine. And what I love about using the blue, you wouldn't normally think of blue of, of this shade to be a neutral, but it really does bring the, the drawing together, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm just finishing up my, my leaves. And then as you can see, there's a lot of space here that you could fill with, um, with more flowers if you wanted to. So though Mr. Johnson explored several different styles during his career, he is best known for his folk art style of painting, which features bright flat colors, simplified shapes, and dark black outlines. He lived in Scandinavia for a while, where he, per he was inspired by a strong folk art tradition that influenced his folk art style. And besides his iconic still lifes, his work often featured scenes of daily life. So if this is your first introduction to Mr. Johnson, I would highly encourage you to go see some of his other um, paintings. I actually have a few um, lessons on this channel as well as 
Um, I write um, curriculum for Teachers Pay Teachers, so you could feel free to download it from over there. But it's just really amazing work and gives you a sense of the time in which that he lived and, went, and in which his, um, his ancestors lived. And I, you can learn a lot just by looking at the paintings that come out of the period. And as I mentioned, because he was from the um, Harlem Renaissance period, it really does give you uh, an education um, that kind of informs, um, you know, the history. Um, if you were not um, introduced to it uh, in your school setting. So as you can see, we have this vase here and you could add uh, some sort of design to it. I'm actually going to keep it simple to kind of uh, honor uh, the manner in which this style of art is. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, this is more of a, a lighter brown. I'm just gonna add kind of a texture in there without fully filling with, with, with color. So as you can see, even with this, if this was all in, um, on a black piece of paper, it would look magnificent, wouldn't it? So I'm just adding some details here. I want to leave some white in there just to let it breathe, but I always like to go back in once I've got the color on the page and then just allow the painting to speak to me where it might need some more greenery or may it might be at needing another flower or two. So as you can see, even as I draw that in just the green tones and not go back with the blue, I think I still want to go back and trace it with the blue, maybe a deeper or a different color blue. But I think the blue really does add some interest to the painting. All right. So then from here, you can make the decision. So again, if this were on black paper, this would all be black in the background. So I can decide to leave this as is, or maybe I can do some sort of background. So I think what I'll do, I have like a beige color. I think what I'm gonna do just to have this have a more complete look, I'm gonna go into the background and I'm going to add the beige just to finish it up. And again, I'm not getting too particular with filling it in completely with color. I think sometimes it um, brings more beauty to let some of that white show through, let the color breathe into the white spaces. All right, and there you have it. And you can see right away, this could be something that you actually create and give to someone as a gift because it's such an amazing, you know, it's on the surface a simple drawing, but at the same time, it really does tell a lovely story. So I hope you enjoyed this art lesson. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell, you are going to get art lessons at least two to three times a week. And um, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're interested in my art kits, my art journal kits, or my sewing kits, also my original art, go check me out over at josiesartschool.com. Hey, if you created this, will you come over and find me on Instagram or on Facebook and tag me so I can see what you created? Oh, one more thing. If you have not seen my logo before, this is what it looks like, Josie's Art School. Thanks so much for stopping by. It really means a lot to me that you come by and create art with me. Goodbye. William H. Johnson.